Hello everyone, I'm Paul Nicklewire Grimes. Many of us have used Zoom throughout this quarantine. It's a video conferencing service that gained in popularity once the coronavirus hit, forcing us to stay indoors. Hopefully you have an experience what happens. The six friends in the new film Host, it's now streaming on Shudder, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Host is an original Shudder movie that finds Haley, played by Haley Bishop, inviting her five friends, Gemma, Redina, Teddy, Emma, and Caroline, to do a virtual seance. Some of them are scared, some of them are excited, and there's a skeptic in the group. Haley hires a medium to join them. Ceylon the medium has specific rules, but Spirit doesn't like it when one of them breaks the cardinal rule. Host was directed by Rob Savage, who co-wrote the script with Jenna Hurley and Jed Shepard. The idea stemmed from a short film that Savage created, who then knew that the Zoom format would work well in, feature -length, in the feature-length film. Savage shot the entire film with his actors all following quarantine rules, with all of them filming over Zoom. It can easily be described as the Blair Witch Project for 2020, as it has that low-budget handheld camera effect, as your actors are all using the cameras on their computers and phones. There's that shaky cam effect as they move around their flats and houses, and Savage and his team co-wrote many of the known Zoom mishaps, like characters with bad lighting or framing, spotty Wi-Fi, messy bedrooms, and homemade backdrops. If you've ever been on a Zoom call, you can certainly attest to the varying degrees of Zoom proficiency out there. That all plays out here and adds to the level of fright. When you have up to five, six images on screen, you, the viewer, are then peering into all the backdrops looking for some ghostly apparitions. You don't know when or where to look, so any loud noise or bang could startle you, much like it would if you were actually on the call. Host works best if you go in wanting to have a little fun especially if you believe in spirit. If you're at all skeptic, uh, you'll tire quickly of the premise. It becomes crazy spooky once they conjure up spirit and it's relentless uh, for the rest of the movie. I lost count how many times my jaw dropped or I jumped in the 56 minute runtime. Yes, you heard me correctly. Host doesn't overstay its welcome by milking the same jump scare over and over, nor does it break its own rules just for the sake of making a scary movie. Its execution is simple and straightforward. Rob Savage uh, relies on practical effects and household props to up the ante as we watch it all unfold as the characters over the characters' computers and phones. I was pleasantly surprised by Host. It's a good reminder that scary movies often work best under a low budget, practical effects, and a somewhat believable premise. It's now streaming on Shudder, which is a really great streaming service for scary movie fans out there. I'm giving host four out of five ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some reviews of other Shudder originals, like their documentary Horror Noir and their docu-series Cursed Films. If you uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on hosts or other scary movies. I have a retrospective right now of the Scream franchise. And don't forget, go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Host. It's now available streaming on Shudder. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.